So the truth is there isn't really one programming language that's the best one to start off with, full stop. Really just choose one and stick with it and learn and then go from there. Thanks for watching. Okay, but seriously, I think that's true. Like, it, I don't really think there is one specific language that's going to get you really accelerated into understanding how to code and the art of programming well, better than others necessarily. But there are a few different routes that you can take. So I'll talk about those in this video. So for example, if you want to start off with a really good foundation where you've never coded in your life, but you want to get exposed to a few different programming languages and start with some of the fundamentals for the actual art and science of computer science, Harvard's free online course called CS50 is a really good way to start. What's nice about that course is that it gets started with a really fun and graphical programming tool called Scratch. So you can actually make a little video game or a little animation in Scratch. So it's all UI based. So UI is user interface. And you can really create something cool without actually writing a single line of code but you'll still get some of the fundamentals down in terms of like for loops and conditionals that are gonna ground the rest of your programming learning journey, which is awesome. And then you'll learn C and get into C, which is actually kind of the polar opposite of Scratch in some ways, where as Scratch is very graphical and really colorful, C is a low level programming language. It's one of the older ones and it's a lot more archaic and just has some different set just wait just I guess what I'm trying to say is it's just very different from scratch but it's actually really good because it'll get you the fundamentals down for identifying specific things like variable types how to set up pointers that are going to be really nice when you can abstract those away later in the course by going to like take a look at python so that's one way to do it. Check out Harvard CS50 if you're brand new. Another option is to think about some specific skill that you'd like to learn and then tailor your programming learning in that direction. For example, if you have an interest in creating video games, you could just start right off the bat with C++ and combine that with Unreal Engine to create some really cool 2D or 3D video game, or you could just learn C Sharp and combine that with Unity to create another cool 2D video game and just really get familiar with C++ or C Sharp and really create something cool. So that's a really valid option to go that route because what's nice is you can actually end up pivoting to learn other programming languages after that, but you've already built a really good foundation having understood a lot of the necessary concepts that go into creating even a simple video game, which is awesome. Or if instead you're interested in web development, you could start with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and that'll be a really nice way to learn how to understand basic web application development. And you can even go a little further and learn some of the more advanced web application stuff using different frameworks. And that can be really cool to combine so many different programming languages like JavaScript, Python, SQL, to create a really robust web app, which can be awesome. There are just so many different routes that you can take. And really, any route that someone decides to take is going to be really beneficial and help them tailor what kinds of things they want to learn. And it can also show a person what kinds of things that aren't the most interesting to them, which is helpful too. Like, let's say someone really enjoys the creative aspect of creating video games, but they learn that they don't really love dealing with all the database stuff using SQL. That can be a really valuable piece of insight to gain. But all in all, I recommend just choosing one direction and just sticking with it and feel free to pivot too and learn more things or add to what you're learning. There's no right answer to the best program languages to start with if you're brand new, but I've tried to highlight some potential options in this video. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching.